What's up, YouTube? I hope you guys have been enjoying the iOS 13 jailbreak. Anyhow, we're back today with another Top Tweaks video. We have quite a few in store, so definitely stick around for the entire list. And speaking of the list, all of the tweaks in today's video are located on our Best Tech Info website. It's linked down below in this video's description. There, you'll find all of the tweaks and all of the sources needed to install them. Also, if you guys have yet to jailbreak, definitely check out our iOS 13 jailbreak tutorial before watching this video. Anyhow, let's get into today's top tweaks. We have quite a few, so sit back and relax. Well, starting things out here on my iPhone 8 Plus, we have Gestures 13 to bring the iPhone 10 Gestures to the iPhone 8 and any other iOS device that doesn't have a notch. You can access multitasking by swiping up. That's also how you unlock the device. Your control center is now in the top right, something like that. Uh, pretty much every single gesture that you have on an iPhone 10, now you have it on every other device. And the only other tweak that I wanted to show you guys running on this device is called Clean Home Screen. Now, all of my icons don't have any icon labels. My page dots are hidden. If you guys take a look at my lock screen, it's super simplistic. And this is all achieved with one tweak, again, called Clean Home Screen. Well, let's move things over to the iPhone 10 for the rest of this video. Next up, we have Mashuda Infinity. Again, this brings the music visualizer to Spotify, Apple Music, your home screen, your lock screen, and the control center. Next, as you guys know, Cydia is used to install all of your packages, and soon there will probably be a port for Celio and other package installers. Well, if you guys want a beta of Zebra, that is working perfectly fine on iOS 13. You can install all free packages from today's video using this package installer. Well, I'm sure you guys have had a second to take a look at the home screen here. I have a custom theme applied with Snowboard. Yes, Snowboard is now working on iOS 13 and the theme I have installed right now is called Lotus. Now, another cool one right here with the folders is called Manila. If you hold it down right there, you can access all of the apps in said folder right there in the shortcuts menu. Pretty cool tweak. Next, if you guys have yet to unjailbreak, we have a tutorial on that. There's a nice plug for that video. Anyhow, if you guys are watching a YouTube video and you wanna keep it going in the background, an awesome tweak for that is called Circube. So as you guys can see, if I go back into the YouTube app, the video is still playing. So as long as there's no annoying YouTube ads just like this. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I'm going into new menus and things like that, it's super quick. Pretty much all of the animations on my phone are sped up with speed intensifier. We talked about power app in the last video to quickly respring. Well, pull to respring is working perfectly fine on iOS 13. Another one of my favorite tweaks has recently been updated too, called Dark Keyboard. So it looks something like that. The stock Dark Keyboard of iOS is now native across all your applications at all times. And again, we also have Bar Emoji right there. Now the latest version doesn't work, but if you guys install version 1.8.1, .1, it works perfectly fine on iOS 13. Another one that you guys might have missed already that has been displayed in this video is shy page dots. So the page dots appear when you're scrolling, but then they quickly fade away when you're no longer scrolling. So a nice, simple, subtle animation right there. Now, this one's going to be kind of hard to demo on video, but I'll do my best. If I go ahead and pop open the camera app, you guys will notice a lot has changed right here. The entire user interface is completely different and revolutionized. And this is with the tweak called Camera Tools. I just love that the preview is full screen. It just looks super sweet. I almost like this better than the iPhone 11's camera UI. Also within the camera app, we have Tap Tap Flip, so just double tap, it flips the camera around, and you can double tap to flip it back to the rear camera. Another one on the lock screen, we have Clean Player to clean up the music widget. 
Also, I currently have Do Not Disturb enabled, but on the lock screen, there's no notification telling me that Do Not Disturb is enabled, and that's with no D&D banner. Oh My Flash disables your flashlight after about a minute of it being left on, so if you guys just leave it on, eventually it will auto turn off. Something just like that. Anyhow, continuing on, we only have a few more left. Silent screenshot looks something like that. Just a little bit more subtle when taking a screenshot. There's also no noise. If we go into the clock app right here, I go to set an alarm, and you can either set an alarm or when you turn it on, something like that, you get this timer right here showing you guys how long until that alarm goes off. And that's with the tweak sleepy time. Anyhow, going back to the home screen, we have battery percent 12, battery percent X also works as well to put the battery percentage in the top notch on the iPhone 10. Dismiss anywhere. If I go into Cydia, basically any time that you have a pop-up notification, like say when you're adding a source in normal mode, Instead of having a cancel button, you can just tap anywhere to dismiss. Also, no low power auto lock. So I've had low power mode on this entire video, but my display has not shut off by itself. That's what that tweak does. Very lastly in this video, if I go into my folder right here, Succession has also been updated to restore your guys' device to the current version that you're running. I'm on version 13.3, interesting. Let me double check that, I forgot. Uh, if I go to settings, general, about. As you guys can see, I'm on iOS 13.3, running this fully jailbroken device. So if I ever wanna restore it back to 13.3, or whatever version you're currently running, Succession will do that. And as you guys might've guessed, the latest jailbreak build works on the latest beta of iOS, not even a public version. That is just absolutely insane. And I've been wanting to actually demo this tweak for quite some time because it's going to be super useful in the very near future. And I'm talking about Batchomatic. Now it's found directly within Cydia under search, right here in the top left. Basically, if I just create an online DEB, it's backing up all of my tweaks, my sources, my preferences, so I can share it with others, or I can just have a backup for myself. Now, where this is really going to come in handy is you can save this to your iCloud drive, and then every time you update your iOS version and you're back on stock iOS, you can quickly restore all of your sources and all of your tweaks in one fell swoop. Or, like I said, you can share it with friends. Now in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and click export, airdrop, and airdrop it to my iPhone right here. And again, like I said at the start of this video, this doesn't really have too many tweaks at all. So I can go ahead and select open with files. And again, now it pops it up. If we open this guy right here and select copy to files -a, and double tap this, click install up in the top right, Go ahead and let that guy install. Again, you have to have Batchomatic and Filesa on both phones to get this process working perfectly fine. Just do a quick respring at the very end of it. And once we're back online, we can head back into Cydia right here, return to Cydia, go to search Batchomatic right there, and install the DEB and you can go ahead and install all the offline tweaks or add repos and queue tweaks depending on how you backed up all of your tweaks on this phone. Basically, if uh, you create an online or offline DEB, that's the difference right there. Anyway, go ahead and click proceed, and it's going to install all of the tweaks from that phone over there to this phone right here. Again, everything was backed up offline, so some of the tweaks may need to be updated depending on how old your backup is. Anyway, I'll go ahead and let this finish up and be right back. And that's what it looks like when it's done. We'll go ahead and run UI cache and click proceed. And uh, it's gonna go ahead and respring once things are done. 
So here we go guys, let's see how much it transferred over. Well, next up to Snowboard, looks like it's working perfectly fine. Let's actually go into Cydia and take a look at all of our new packages that we have installed. So we have Aperture Eyes, Auto Unlock X, Barmoji, Better CC, let's see, that's working perfectly fine, didn't have any of that. We have Sir Cube, Clean Home Screen, dark keys let's go ahead and double check all these are working yep most of them are working there might be a couple here and there let's go ahead and take a look at one we can test like small surrey that looks like it's working perfectly fine if i had surrey on so speed intensifier i can tell that's working as you guys can tell pretty much all of the tweaks that i had right here are working perfectly fine and i'll get rid of the surrey prompt right here but Anyway guys, that's a quick look at Batch-O-Matic. So those are all of the new free tweaks that we have yet to cover on this channel. Now, this video is titled Free Tweaks, but there's just a handful of paid ones that I wanted to show you guys. One again being Better CCXI. That one's pretty awesome to redesign the control center. Jellyfish for a custom lock screen uh, clock right there. If Auto Unlock X would let me take a look at that. Another one that was recently updated is uh, Noctis Nuo. So you can customize dark mode a little bit more granular. You can have like light widgets and a light dock in dark mode. But the really cool thing is, is if you're in messages or if you're in settings, you have a completely black background. Things like uh, the, what is it? The dividers are no longer there. Um, and the cell separators, those are all hidden on dark mode. So, so you can have a little bit more granular control of dark mode. Anyway, guys, that one's pretty sweet. Another one that I always use is called Next Up 2. So if I'm playing a song, if I go into Control Center, it has my next song right here, and I can quickly queue up another one that I actually like. And so when I finally pick one that I want, whatever that is, I can go ahead and play that next. Anyhow, guys, that one's called Next Up 2. That is one that I actually use all of the time. Very lastly, one that was recently updated for iOS 13. And this one is pretty much applicable for every single device that this jailbreak supports because this jailbreak does not support the 10s or 11. And it's a camera feature called Apertureize. Anyhow, if you guys are taking a portrait photo, something like this, you can actually control the amount of bokeh that's going on in the background. And I really am not focusing on anything here, but I did take a photo earlier today to show you guys what this looks like. As you guys can see, no bokeh in this effect right here, but a ton of bokeh on this photo right here. And these were both portrait photos just adjusted using that slider right here. Anyway guys, basically brings that awesome bokeh control that the iPhone XS and iPhone 11 have to every other device. Anyway, those were a quick look at five paid tweaks that I really like. If you guys missed our last video, we talked about swipe for more to quickly queue up packages. We talked about flame to batch import tweaks. We talked about Tweak Count 2 to show how many packages you currently have installed. Fluid tabs at the bottom to quickly go back and forth between tabs in Cydia. We have Wishdia to create a wish list within Cydia. We have Shuffle. If I go into the Settings app, I have all of my tweaks preferences right there in one category at the top. Again, like you saw earlier in this video, we have Small Surrey. Real CC, if I go into the control center connectivity toggles right here, if I turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, they are now permanently disabled. Floating dock brings the iPad style dock to the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 for that matter as well. It lets you have this awesome floating dock that the iPhone 10 has, it also has recently used applications in it as well. Just heading into an app, we have Hide Bar X to remove the home bar at the bottom of the iPhone 10. As you guys saw earlier in this video as well, we have Auto Unlock X. Once your face is recognized, you're taken directly to the home screen. And again, Zen HTML and Fluid Widget have both been updated for iOS 13. So you can get that awesome, fun little widget 
on your devices right now. Anyhow, I thought I'd end this video off with a brand new tweak. So for those of you who made it to the end, you get to see the latest and greatest that has come out. One of my favorites is called Sunflower. Now, as you guys know, haptic touch has taken over all devices now, even ones with 3D touch. Basically, if you just tap and hold, your animation will happen no matter what. Well, Sunflower puts back 3D touch on 3D touch supported devices. So now if you just hover and hold, nothing happens until you push in and then you actually get the menu icon. Subtle, but for those of you who like 3D touch, again, if you hold, the folder is selected, but it won't actually open until you press. Anyhow, guys, that one's called Sunflower. It brings back the native 3D touch to the iPhone 10 and all of the other iPhones that have 3D touch hardware. Anyway, guys, that is the entire list that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, all of the tweaks and sources are located down below in this video's description. Be sure to check out our first Top Tweaks video if you guys want more information on those tweaks. Again, if you have yet to jailbreak, we have a jailbreak tutorial as well as an unjailbreak tutorial out now. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.